Hello. Hello, guys. You guys all right? Uh, good, good, good. I should introduce myself. My name's Nathan Caton. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Londoner. Do you, any Londoners in? Yeah, I'm a Londoner. A very proud Londoner, too, you know, after the summer that we had, you know, hosting the Olympics. Did, did we enjoy the Olympics? Yeah. They, they were good, innit? They were surprisingly good. Uh, that's what made it even better. <laughs> No, let, let, let's be honest, but before the Olympics started, there was that, that typical British attitude towards it, innit? Because like, only in Great Britain could we have the Olympics, the world's greatest sporting event, and still be pissed off about it, right? <laughs> but the only nation, like, like for example, in, in Australia in 2000, when they got the Olympics, they were over the moon. They were like, yeah, we got the Olympics. And in Greece in 2004, they were like, yes, the games come home. We get the Olympics, and we're like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Who's paying for this shit? <laughs> I like the Olympics, man. I think, I think what I liked the most about the Olympics was the way that it inspired young people to get involved in sport, you know, like the whole inspired generation. I thought that was lovely. Like, um, like prime example was uh, the lighting of the Olympic flame. Everyone thought it was going to be Sir Steve Redgrave or Daley Thompson. And in the end, they got seven young people to do it, which I thought was lovely. Because if you remember correctly, the last summer we had, where there was a bunch of young people running around London <laughs> with a fire in their hand, <laughs> wasn't exactly Olympic, was it? <laughs> I mean, technically, some of them were going for gold. <laughs> actually, actually I, I was fortunate enough to go to a few events, actually. Um, I, I went to the Olympic Park. That was cool. Um, apart from all the random people who were coming up to me going, oh, my gosh, you were so unlucky against Usain. <laughs> Racist. Uh, <laughs> Um, I, I, I also got denied entry into one of the venues too, right? Um, I got denied entry into one of the venues for being too sarcastic towards one of the volunteers. Um, in my defense, she bloody deserved it, right? <laughs> uh, what happened was uh, me and my brother went to see uh, the shooting at the Royal Artillery Barracks. And uh, we get to the, to the venue, get to the entrance, there's a volunteer standing there with the scanners for our tickets. One of the volunteers was a very, very enthusiastic middle-aged white lady, right? Uh, she jumps in front of me and my brother, and she goes, Hello! Good afternoon! How are you? Are you two here for the shooting? <laughs> now, if I was sensible, I would have just said yes. But naturally, I'm quite sarcastic, so instead, what came out of my mouth was, Oh, what, two young black guys? That's what you think, yeah? That's what you think, yeah? <laughs> she shut herself. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not racist, no, no. My next door neighbor's black. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I, I've noticed in the UK, we do get very touchy about, you know, appearing racist, by, about the whole issue of race. Right? I personally think it's just, no, relax, chill out, man. Like, um, like my, my neighbor, for example, I've got a neighbor called Mrs. Bishop. Lovely, sweet old lady, right? But she's petrified of appearing racist. So much so that whenever she talks to me or my family, she never says the word black. Instead, she says, urban. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, she'll say something like, oh, Nathan, Nathan, um, do, you, um, do you know that little, um, the urban kid, number five, you know, um, with the big urban hair? Have you seen him, right? <laughs> I'm like, Mrs. Bishop, you don't have to say that, okay? That, that's dumb on so many different levels. I mean, that like, one, urban is not an adequate replacement for black, okay? <laughs> uh, urban's a city, hence anyone can be urban. Uh, two, the word, the word black, it's not racist, it's a colour, all right? I'm not going to get upset over a colour. I'm a human being, not a bull, all right? <laughs> and three, even if the word black was racist, I still wouldn't be offended if you said it, cos you're black too. Yeah, so yeah, that was my Olympic experience, man. Um, like I said, I, I did enjoy it. We've, we've had a very good summer this year. We, we've, we've been spoiled for a lot of events, you know, like, um, like we had the Olympics, the Paralympics, um, had, had the Jubilee as well. I, I, I celebrated the Jubilee. Um, to be honest, I didn't celebrate it as much as I wanted to. Um, I, I wanted to go out to a street party to celebrate, but I didn't go because uh, I, I got scared, right? Because um, like, where I live, like, there's like, lots of Union Jacks everywhere, and it looked a bit BNP, right? <laughs> I know that sounds quite dumb, but the thing is where I live, I, I, I live in a predominantly white area, because um, I've got money, right? <laughs> Not really, they're Polish, right? <laughs> it's 
still quite scary though. But uh, <laughs> no, but I did want to celebrate because I, I do like the Royal Family, man. I do like them. But actually, when, when, when I say I like the Royal Family, what I really mean is I love Prince Harry. Right? <laughs> Prince Harry's a funny fucker, man. So, some of the stuff that he does, like, like the, the naked photo of him in, in Las Vegas. I thought that was hilarious, man. Like so many people are slagging him off. Like leave him alone. It shows he's a normal guy who does normal dumb shit. You know? <laughs> leave him alone, man. Leave my Prince Harry alone. <laughs> Also, so some of the stuff that Prince Harry says as well makes me laugh, you know? Like, um, like, a few months ago, he was talking to the US media. He was talking about his difficulties that he's having in his love life, right? Because uh, apparently, Prince Harry's finding it hard to attract a woman. <laughs> Piss off! <laughs> you're a prince, dickhead. How hard can it be to attract a woman when you're a prince? I've seen coming to America. I've seen Aladdin. It's not that hard, right? <laughs> Like, it's not like he's a regular bloke who has to do regular bloke things. Like, like guys, when we want to attract a woman, we have to make an effort, innit? We have to do all of that boring, unnecessary stuff, you know? Like, listening. <laughs> prince Harry, he ain't gonna do that. He's a prince. He's got the easiest shutter plan in the world. He can walk up to any girl and go, Hey, baby, how you doing? Sick and tired of paying tax? <laughs> That's it. Who's gonna say no to that? I wouldn't even say no to that. I'm not even gay, but even I'd be like, hmm, I don't like sucking dick, but I really don't like paying tax. That's not being gay, that's economical. Right? No, I would, I'll, I'll suck it, I don't give a shit. I, I, I was, I was a... <laughs> no, no, a, a lot of guys freak out when you ask them that, right? I was, I, was, I was talking to my brother, right? My brother having some banter, right? Playing FIFA or whatever. And I said to him, I was like, bruv, can I ask you a question? He's like, yeah, whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was like, bruv, um, okay, it's hypothetical, right? If you could go the rest of your life without paying any tax, would you suck Prince Harry's dick? <laughs> and he went, oh, blood, I ain't doing that, man. Nah, man, that's disgusting, blood. Nah, man, allow that, allow that. I was like, all right, chill out, chill out. It's just a question. You ain't got to be homophobic. And he was like, no, 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 no. I don't care about being gay. He's ginger, ain't it? <laughs> That's my brother, man. My brother's, uh, my brother's 17, just, just turned 17. He's, he's, he's one of those, uh, those young, like, wannabe bad boys that, yeah, 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 you get me, yeah, 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 you get me all my days, yeah, all my days, yeah, but still, you get me, yeah, you get me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of them bellends. But, um, <laughs> I mean, I love him, but I just don't you know, like, like, we don't really see eye to eye on certain stuff now. Like he, like, he doesn't think I'm cool and young and hip anymore. And also, like, when, when he tries to be like a bad boy, every now and again, it kind of gets me into trouble, right? Because um, cause I'm, I'm, I'm his older brother, right? Like, uh, start of the year, he got into a fight at school. And because uh, I'm the eldest, my mum came up to me. So, uh, Nathan, come here, come here, come here. Listen, um, talk to your brother, okay? He got into a fight at school and he got suspended as well, all right? Listen, talk to the boy or I'm going to kill him. <laughs> I'm mum, don't worry, man. I'll sort it out. So, next day rolls around. It's lunchtime. Just me and my brother sitting in the house. He's sitting there doing nothing because he's been suspended from school. And I'm sitting there doing nothing because my career's on fire. Right? <laughs> so, I thought it'd be a good time to talk, right? I was like, hey, bruv. Why are you finding that school for, man? No better than that. Well, go on. <laughs> and my brother, he was like, oh, yeah, cool, 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 yeah, safe, yeah, safe, yeah, safe, yeah, cool, yeah, safe, yeah, cool, yeah, cool, yeah, safe, yeah, safe, yeah, cool, yeah, you get me, yeah, get me, yeah, get me, yeah, get me, yeah, you get me, yeah. Okay, basically, yeah, okay, basically, yeah, your blood, your blood, your blood, your blood, your blood, your blood, your blood. You know where I go, yeah? You know where I go, yeah? You know where I go in the morning, yeah? You know where I go in the morning, yeah? Yeah, school, I'm at school, I'm at school, I'm at school, I'm at school, yeah, I'm at school, yeah, right? Then, yeah, after school, yeah, I'm hanging out, yeah, this little kid, yeah, 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 10, yeah, younger than me, yeah, man don't even know me, yeah, man don't even know me, still, though, blood, yeah, right, yeah. Man comes up to me, yeah, and he starts pushing me, I'm like, bro, you don't even know me, yeah, don't push me, yeah, don't even know me, yeah, don't push me, yeah, right, yeah. Then, yeah, then, yeah, man starts poking me, I'm like, bro, don't poke me, it's not Facebook, yeah, don't poke me, yeah, don't poke me, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Then, yeah, man got, man, man, man got my bag, yeah, and chucked it over the fence, didn't it, yeah? I ain't gonna have that, it's my bag, yeah, I like it, yeah, so I got his bag too, yeah, and I chucked it as well, yeah, then it hit me in my face, yeah, in my face, yeah, in my face, yeah, and you know, mom, you know, mom, you know, mom, you know, you, you, you know the woman you gave birth to? Oh, you know what? Say, 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 say. You know mum, yeah? You know mum always says if someone hits you, hit him back, yeah? Hit him in the face, yeah? So I hit him back. And that's what happened. Standard. <laughs> um, thanks for clapping, because I'll be honest, I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. Right? <laughs> All I heard was him go, standard, at the end, right? Like, I've noticed that my brother and his friends, they always go, standard, at the end of a sentence. I'm like, why would you say that? I'm an adult, I could work out the end for myself, dickhead. Like, <laughs> the adults, we wouldn't say that, would we? Because it would sound ridiculous, you know? Like, okay, say that, for example, like, if you're having sex with your partner. 
you're never gonna see a man go, yeah, baby, I'm gonna come, baby. Oh, baby, oh, oh. Standard. <laughs> I'm gonna say that, but I guarantee you someone's gonna say it this week. Okay? So, uh, so I looked at my little brother. I was like, brother, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, yeah? Um, tomorrow, when you go to school, right, I'll come pick you up, right? We'll talk to the boy and we'll sort it all out, don't worry. So next day I meet my brother after school. I'm like, hey, bruv, where's this kid, man? Let's go sort this stuff out. And we walk around to a nearby bus stop, right? And he points out to this tall, lanky kid. Now, the kid is only 14, but he's so lanky, he, he looks like he's 30 or some shit, right? I was like, oh shit, bro. No, but look at the size of him, man. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, yeah? You walk behind me, all right? I'm gonna handle this one. So I walk up to the boy. <laughs> and that's how you have to approach young kids now, right? Like, you can't walk up to a young kid all relaxed and casual. That's how you get stabbed, right? <laughs> Yo, blood, come here. Yeah, so, uh, word on the street is you got a problem with my brother. Well, guess what? You got a problem with him, you got a problem with me. And he looks at me and he goes, yeah, I got a problem with your brother, thinks he's the man just because you've been on television. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie, when he said that, there was a tiny part of me that wanted to look at my brother and go, he has got a point though. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> but then the boy goes, and hey, you know what? You're not even funny, dickhead. <laughs> Soon as he says that, I'm like, oh shit, it's on now. <laughs> I'm not gonna have that, I'm a comedian, so I make a little cheeky comment back. I go, hey, relax, relax, man, don't be jealous. You can be the man too. After all, we all saw your family on my big fat gypsy wedding. <laughs> yeah, boom, right? <laughs> Soon as I say that, all of the kids who are standing around us, they start laughing, right? Now, I don't know if you guys have seen high school kids when they're laughing together. They proper go for it, man. Because I said the line and they were like, oh! Oh, no! Oh, shit! Oh, my day, like, you got to cross your family, Gypsy, no! <laughs> Going mental. And I'm standing there thinking, wow, can you guys come to my gigs? <laughs> So they're all laughing, right? The boy gets embarrassed because everyone's laughing. He drops his bag. He steps towards me and goes, what? I'm like, listen, bruv, you heard what I said, yeah? Leave my brother alone. Takes another step forward. And now he's like, right in my face. And at that moment, there were two things going through my head. The first thing was, whoa, how much links do these boys wear nowadays, man? <laughs> and the second thing was, is he serious? He's 14 years old and he's trying to intimidate me. That's not gonna happen, okay? I refuse to be intimidated by someone who's younger than a Nokia 3210. <laughs> but obviously, I'm, I'm not gonna fight him though, because that, that's wrong, you know. I'm, I'm an adult, he's a kid, I'm not gonna put my hands on a minor. So I looked at him, I was like, listen, bruv, you know what, do me a favor. In fact, do yourself a favor and get on my face, bruv. Trust me, man, get on my face. And he looks at me and he goes, or oh, what? Or oh, what? And this is when I proved for a fact to my brother that I'm no longer cool and young and hip anymore because I came out of a line that I have never said before in my life and I'll never say again because frankly, when I say it, I sound like a dick. <laughs> I looked at this little kid and I honestly went, or oh, it's gonna go down in Chinatown. <laughs> It was so shit, even my brother went, for fuck's sake. <laughs> hey, listen, you guys were lovely. Uh, I've been Nathan Caton. Thank you very much. Take care. Good night. <laughs>